What's up guys, I'm here at the Ocean Corporation in Houston, Texas, and in today's video we're going to go over what happens when a diver is underwater and he's unresponsive. Let's do this. Alright guys, I'm here with Carlo, he's instructed here at Ocean Corporation and where he's going to go over what happens when a diver is underwater and he's unresponsive. That's right, we're going to be talking about how we're going to use a class 2 bell during a rescue. Cool. Alright, so right here the, uh, the first diver, Diver 1, uh, is actually jumping in into the water making sure that his dive hose is going through the bell uh, for safety purposes. That way if he gets disoriented or anything, he can always follow his dive hose back to the bell. So this first diver right now is uh, at bottom, getting prepared to uh, set himself up for the drill. At this point right now, uh, there's an issue with the diver not communicating, so we're preparing to jump the standby diver. So the standby diver is getting his gloves on, standby diver is getting ready to, to jump in the water to go rescue uh, the distressed diver. If you notice, before the diver jumps in, uh, he, puts a, he puts his hand around the dive hose that belongs to um, the distressed diver. The rescue diver now makes his way to the bell. He grabs his own dive hose, gets it situated. He takes the, uh, the harness that's going to allow uh, the standby diver to hoist the distress diver into the bell. So that's hooked up. He's going to take his own dive hose and feed it through the bell. That way he can deploy it down to the distress diver. Communication from the supervisor to the tender gets relayed. The rescue diver gets prepared, prepared to deploy, he grabs the distress diver's hose, pulls himself over to the distress diver. As soon as he gets to the distress diver, he goes in, uh, free flows his hat to make sure that he's not drowning in water or anything like that. He looks inside to see if he's conscious. Hooks up the retrieval harness actually pull the distress diver back to the bell. As he's doing that, he hooks back to himself. The rescue diver pulls the distress diver as close as he can to the bell. The rescue diver right now is requesting the dive hoses to be pulled up for both himself and the distressed diver. There he starts climbing. Distressed diver gets pulled up. Rescue diver starts pulling himself up. Nice and slow, 30 feet per minute. He's not gonna request dive hose to be pulled up. Climbing up the distress diver's dive hose, back and forth, back and forth. As soon as the uh, rescue diver is able to get himself onto the bell, he will pull the distress diver up to the bell. With the help of the tenders, he'll get the dive hoses situated properly. At which time now, he is going to try to get the diver onto the deck of the bell. Without hurting the distressed diver, he's going to go ahead and pull him in into the bell, secure him to the harness that's connected to the bell, and disconnect the harness that is connected to him. Rescue diver is reaching up to the harness location, making sure everything's secured. Disconnects the recovery harness. Connects the hoisting harness. Oh, 
Begins hoisting the diver into the bell. The combination of uh, push pull, push pull, he hoists the diver into the bell. Diver now pushes the distress diver into the pocket. The hat is now in a dry area. And the rescue is complete. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.